Right, I just want to talk you through this laying style. Uh, it's a bit of a random one, I know that. I'm not suggesting that it should be a laying style uh, that someone should do all the time. It's just something I did this year when my tennis elbow was playing up so, so bad. But th this particular day, I couldn't even lift my arm, my left arm above my shoulder without excruciating pain. <clears throat> so it, it plays up now and again. Uh, I think they call it te um, tennis elbow. Well, obviously mine's Britlayer's elbow. I don't play tennis. Uh, so the only way I can carry on working when it got the, this wall got above sort of 18 courses was to resort to like a block laying technique uh, with like a two handed technique. Okay, so uh, I was thinking, I was watching the, the videos back um, and I came across this video and I thought, actually, I wonder if this could be a technique that could help uh, people who are shorter. You know what I mean? I'm 5'8 and I struggle with courses um, 18, 19, 20, 21. Um, it's so slow. Well, it's still, it's not crazy slow, but it's slower. And it's uncomfortable. It's easy to get tipping bricks. It's easy to crash the line. You know, touch the line when you're spreading and whatever, or laying. Um, and I reckon there's people who are shorter than me who might struggle more than me. Uh, or people who are just starting out and they haven't got this sort of strength in their wrists and all that. So maybe this could be a technique that could be used uh, for those higher courses and for anybody really who struggles with super high brickwork. Okay. Now I know for a fact there's people going to say you shouldn't be laying uh, above, you know, this sort of height, above chest height, or whatever, because of quality control. Some people say you can't keep an eye on the quality as good, which, is, which kind of it can be true. But at the end of the day, I think it's pretty much uh, accepted that 21 courses is a bit of an industry standard, especially on building sites, because it it uh, works in with the scaffold and stuff. So unless you've got a um, plank scaffold where they'll work to whatever height you want, uh, but even then, it's just 21 at the end of the day. So you've got to get used to laying them high courses. Um, so, yeah, what I've done here, I'm, I'm basically spreading for, you know, four bricks, eight bricks. Um, and then when I'm going from a brick, well, you can see what I'm doing. I'm, uh, I'm putting a joint on and I'm putting my trowel down and I'm lifting the brick with both hands, okay? Um, trying not to touch the line with my thumbs, but you know, inevitably you, you do now and again. So trying to keep the line uh, touching to a minimum, okay? And the thing is, it's not too bad for me because my boards are so high, so I can just put my trowel there. Uh, if your boards are low, it's gonna be a bit more of a pain in the bum. But what about th these trowel uh, holders, the magnetic trowel holders? Um, I've been using one of those recently just for block work, but maybe for this, if you were doing this um, two-handed bricklaying technique, if you had a magnetic trowel holder on your belt, uh, you could you could let rip. I'm sure you could. So for me, uh, this is a bit slower than my pick and dip and stuff like that, but it's still a thousand brick a day pace, easy. Okay, and it is. It was just so easy on my uh, tennis elbow, on my wrists, and everything. Again, I'm not suggesting that it's a new method or anything like that, but it could be one that could be used uh, now and again. Okay, and uh, especially. Um, the shorter people, I know that men, I think, average side height of a man is 5'9", average height of a lady is 5'4", apparently. That's what Google says, anyway. So, those last few courses for someone 5'4", must be horrendous. Uh, horrendously bad for your wrists and, and all that. So, I don't know. I'm going to keep using this. I'm going to um, I'm gonna try it a few more times and maybe... Yeah, maybe I'll, I'll speed up a little bit with it, but please share it, share it with anybody who might uh, benefit from it. You know what I mean? Um, and then, yeah, just give me a shout in the comments. See what you think. I know for a fact it's going to get some some uh, dislikes because at the end of the day, it's a little bit radical in it. It's a bit it's a bit different uh, than we're taught at college and whatnot. But at the end of the day, them bricks are right. They're right to the line. I'm cleaning them off at the back as I go. Uh, the bricks are tidy. 
You're in a good position to look at the perp to keep them in line, keep them plumb. So I reckon it's all right. Okay, cheers for watching. and I'll catch you on the next one.